Hi everyone and welcome to the next IOTD that is image of the day. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Preeti Sharma. I've done my MBBS followed by MD from VMMC and Safdarjung Hospital in New Delhi. I'm an educator on the Unacademy platform and this is a new series that we've started off late that is IOTD image of the day daily at 10 p.m. on the YouTube channel. Without any delay, let's begin. I think it's quite an easy one. It's an entire spectrum which I want you to identify. The identification is more or less written, so it's easy for everyone. I want you to go into the depth of every image and understand it. So this is obviously the Vibrio cholera, which we've tried to put up over here. But taking up every image individually, the first one tells us that Vibrio as an organism, if you see the staining characteristics, this is going to be a comma-shaped organism. So we say that number one it is curved apart from being curved they also sometimes call it as comma shaped and it is having that uh, reddish color so it's definitely not gram positive positive would have been purple this is a gram negative bacilli this is a gram negative bacilli curved comma shaped bacillus bacillus because it's elongated Having said that, what is the kind of motility that Vibrio has? It's quite a famous question. As soon as you enter second year, you are asked. It has the classical darting or the shooting star motility. It has the darting or the shooting star motility. Now, well, having said that, let's move on to the next image. The next image shows you a medium and that's labeled also known as TCBS medium. So, what is the TCBS medium? It is the thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose. So, we'll write it first and foremost. It is thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose. So, what is it actually used for? So, bile salt somewhere tells you the greenish color of the same. But S stands for sucrose and that's what makes it a differential medium. Because I get to know whether sucrose is fermented or sucrose is non-fermented. So, not fermented. Is it a sucrose fermenter, the organism, or is it a non-sucrose fermenter? So, remember, sucrose fermentation is going to give a yellow color. That's the rule. Sucrose fermentation gives a yellow color. So, we saw that Vibrio cholera, Vibrio cholera is a sucrose fermenter. It gives a yellow color. Whereas Vibrio parahemolyticus, see it's not given, it's not shown any color change, it's green as it is. So this is a non-sucrose fermenter. So can I say the TCBS medium is a very important differential medium. It differentiates between the sucrose fermenting ability, thereby differentiating between cholera versus Vibrio parahemolyticus. Coming to the next test which is shown by Vibrio cholera and that is the string test. So I think everyone is aware that when we are talking about Vibrio, the kind of sample that we get from the patient is a very classically defined rice water stools, right? So when you take the sample, I'm just going to tell you a very brief one line procedure and one line principle. When you take the sample from the patient, be it a rice water stool or any sample, and you treat it with 0.5% deoxycholate. What is deoxycholate? It is basically a kind of a bile salt. When you treat it with deoxycholate, the Vibrio, if Vibrio is present in that sample, you will see the Vibrio will become, it will become lysed. It will basically lyse. And if it lyses, do you agree that the DNA is going to come out? The DNA that comes out of the cell gives you this stringy appearance. So remember, the DNA that comes out ultimately gives you the stringy appearance. So that is what you need to know. Just one word on what are you using? 0.5% deoxycholate. And uh, what is the principle behind it? That the DNA that is going to be released from the lysed cells, that is what is going to make it all viscous. I hope this is clear with everyone because that brings us to the end of the image of the day. These were comma shaped gram negative bacilli. TCBS helped me know that Vibrio cholera is a sucrose fermenter and parahemolyticus is a non sucrose fermenter. And a positive string test is because the DNA has been released from the cells after lysis. What chemical? 
Biosoft. That's the over uh, end of the IOTD of the day. Tomorrow we'll be back at the same time at 10 p.m. Meanwhile, all of you can always follow the Unacademy schedule that is going on in terms of the grand test every Saturday. And you can also follow all the live free classes that are going on starting 7.45 a.m. in the morning. So we do a kickstart morning. We start every day with a pathology microbiology session on the platform for 40 minutes, which is a free class for everyone to view. As far as the plus courses are concerned, there is a one month neat pg final package and many fmg batches going on so all that you pretty much have to do is download the unacademy app if you take the subscription be it plus or iconic it also gives you access to a 25000 plus high yield clinical question bank now that's something new and highly effective bank that has come up off late thanks a ton for joining in guys see you tomorrow same time 10 pm good night